hello to you all again. Um, hello to you all again. Um, this is actually the second live that um, I've done today. <laughs> um, but I felt this sharing would help people, uh, especially those that have gone through an intensity during May. Um, so, welcome once more to Glastonbury. And um, if you haven't seen uh, the live that I did earlier today, if you haven't seen that one, then it truly would be best. I'd highly recommend that you watch that one first before you watch this one. Okay, um, I talked about three subjects earlier today and I've come on again today to go deeper into the second subject which was how people perceive you where I spoke about all of this all of these different people in the world in your dream and this is you and that there is no one outside of you within your dream that will ever perceive you the way you experience yourself so I just want to share more about that um, it is something that I've shared at least twice before now on videos uh, in previous May times believe it or not <laughs> I know we're just into June but I know that people have gone through intensity during May and it, you know there's no coincidence that um, in a previous May I shared the same message and in a previous May I shared this same message so as I say if you haven't seen the first video this won't it might help but you won't get the whole context it's best to watch the first video first so many many have been through such an intense may the part in your journey it is a stage where you realize if this is you that there is nobody outside of you that will ever understand you the way you know your own experience to be through the whole of your life every moment every feeling every encounter every experience that has led to this moment there is no one outside of you that can ever understand you whether it's your family your friend um, a work colleague um, it doesn't matter there's no one outside of you that's ever going to understand you the way you've experienced yourself and your life and this is also it, it does link to when we first awaken is that we then find the spiritual arena and what we're truly doing is we're looking for space to belong that's what that spiritual community is about if you look at the subconsciousness beyond the conscious living human so in the subconscious we don't belong in we don't feel we fit in we don't feel we belong in the uh, unawakened state of the world we find the spiritual community and we we're wanting to belong we're wanting to fit in. We're wanting to be understood. But you're going to find, and I, and I know this because I have had a lot of messages about feeling alone, feeling on your own, feeling that there's no one that you can turn to. There comes this point when you're 
awake within your dream as I explained the dreaming in video one today. There comes this point where you're awake within your dream and within you no matter whether the person is awakened or unawakened you know you know with the whole of your being that there's never ever going to be someone outside of you that understands you the way you have experienced your life and that has been many people's intensity through me it's a stage point it's at that human emotional let's just call it very gently and loosely desperation that you realize that you can sit with that you can be with if you haven't realized that it's at that point that you realize there's only one that understands you that understands every step of your life from the moment you were born there's only one that understands every feeling every thought you have there's only one that knows you before your thoughts arise there's only one that knows which step you're going to take next and that is God that is source I know many people don't like the word God call it what you will it doesn't matter it's the same one God source creator absolute it's at that point of desperation that through the human experience we go through where you feel so isolated and some people do experience feeling lonely I've been fortunate I've never felt lonely but have I felt on my own yes yes so many times especially when I awake <laughs> and most people thought I was crazy <laughs> but have I felt my on have I felt on my own within the awakened spiritual community yes yes but it was through that through that realization that there's only one that knows you before your thoughts that knows what you're going to think next what you're going to say next what you're going to do next that you turn to God you realize that there is only one that knows you more more absolutely more than you know yourself that understands you your every feeling and that is the God within you and so it's a point of intensity of pain of desperation that you realize you always always had a best friend that understood you a partner that understood you whatever you want to call it it understands you before yourself and before everyone in your illusion and it's at that point It's exactly that stage that is built into the design where instead of looking outside of you for validation, outside of you to be heard, outside of you to be understood, you go inside and you speak to God. 
you talk to God, God becomes your best friend that is always, always knowing you, that is never, ever, ever judging you. So that moment of intensity when anyone can feel so isolated and so alone on the awakening journey is that turning point where you stop looking outside of you for that support and you turn to God. And that begins another stage where you're always, always, always turning to God. Where your focus is God. God becomes your best friend. And that focus on God increases and increases and increases. And your focus on anything that the mind thinks decreases and decreases. Your fascination in this and that and this and that decreases because the magnetism of God is pulling you towards it to self-realize within God. So, you know, being human, having the experience of being human, taking those steps through life, through what we all go through as our own pain and suffering. It's by being in that human experience that we have the greatest, greatest compassion for everyone, that everyone goes through, that everyone suffers with and struggles with. It's by having the human experience that the compassion within us just increases and increases and increases and it's never ending compassion because we understand. The space you can hold for people just increases because of your own human experience within suffering and so the intensity that many have gone through this year some went through in previous recent years but only recent years it's a design a stage that everybody meets and it takes you into more focus with God. Your faith in God. Your best friend. And always has been. Except that people can get distracted by this and that on the outside. Or by this journey, this branch of the tree. If you're an awakened being, you can go down this branch of the tree for exploration and there's nothing wrong with that. God is experiencing you through all of that exploration down a tree. It's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. But eventually, everybody drops that focus and comes back to the trunk of the tree. It's the trunk of the tree that you ascend and ascend and ascend to self-realizing God within you and it's then that you realize it was always there. So I hope this little video helps just add to the point of how people will always perceive you differently to how you experience yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. It's supposed to be that way. It's designed that way. I know so many have struggled through me. I felt you. <laughs> I felt you so much. But my guidance was to just let be. 
they'll get through it. They'll come out the other side. It's a path stage to your realization within you of God. And it's from devoting your focus to God every day through your intention, through your love, through your heart. That the magnetism of God magnetizes you towards God more and more and more and more. And so people just come out of all the branches of the tree. Because they're being magnetized back, back, back to God. And it doesn't matter if some don't. I just want to add this in. There will be people in this lifetime that will transition and know God from that state outside of the body and then go, wow. Why, how did I forget that? And there will be people that don't choose to self-realize God this lifetime, but choose to experience other aspects, universal aspects of themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that either. It's all experience for God. When you turn to God, ever on your own. Never. So I'm just going to leave it there. I hope it's okay to just come on and share that with you. I felt it was a big part that I missed out from the second part of, of the um, video I did earlier today. Okay. I so pray that helps. I love you all. Endlessly. <laughs> endlessly and I support you all always God bless God bless you bye bye